Alrighty, the Cottage Witch's Guide to Magic. At 25, oh my goodness, 25 enchanting projects to make your home more sacred. Uh, by um, Suzanne Lemon, creator of The Witch and the Goddess. Um, I haven't heard of The Witch and the Goddess before, so, um, but, divided into a few different, um, sections, so, like, chapters, so you got your intro, uh, mystical moon, moon wreaths and enchanted wall hangings, uh, sacred space and altar adornments, kitchen witchery, magic in a flash, preparing to make magic. And so you get a little intro here. And then you do get photograph um, of like the final, like her final um project um kind of like intro kind of her talking about it like what you'll need and like you'll get like these eh, boxes of other stuff so here's where should I hang my wreath um but you do get step um step one step two and a corresponding image corresponding photograph of it, which is nice. Um, full moon wreath. What you'll need. Um, add meaning through the details. So, like, there are some where, like, you get to, um, choose whatever like when it's um like six to eight stems of dried fillers such as baby's breath um dipsophilia caspa broom bloom or ferns crystal clusters so like a lot of it isn't like specific oh you have to have an amethyst or dandelion or whatever you do gotta add your own personal touches to what um you gotta choose so like um for this um which is broom five take stems of dried or full flowers or dried herbs so again whatever your preferences and so Witch balls, um, mini wreath, um, spell jars, and like um, this box is spell jar suggestions. So like, what you would um, be putting on um, in the inside. So, um, the fifth chapter is more, um, correspondences, correspondences, symbolism, and magical properties. So, fairly basic. Um, co like, correspondences. Um. You got a handful of um, each flower and herb drying and how to dry oranges and apples because like one of the projects is making a uh, garland out of these. So
yeah, just some inspiration. And like if you're a crafty person and want um, an, an additional book and you are someone who have, who likes working with um, with <laughs> um, with the fla with like dried flowers crystals and um, more of a cottage kitchen hearth witch uh, type of witch or just wanted to make something more personable uh, some just some inspo um, some inspiration kind of thing um, and her, like her wording um, is easy enough to understand. So yeah, the Cottage Witch's Guide to Magic. Happy readings.